61 Studios, interviewing a very special teacher who's inspiring her students to get interested in the world of science and engineering. Yeah, so welcome back. We are in Studio 61 this morning, and we are talking science. Joining me this morning from the Society for Science at Westside Middle School in Waterbury is Andrea LaRosa. Thank you for joining us this morning, Andrea. Thank you. So we have a lot to get to, and I'm very curious about what's happening here. We'll get to that in just a second. Uh, but first, tell me a little bit about yourself and, you know, how you got involved in this program. So um, I'm an eighth grade science teacher in Danbury, and I do teach a class on science research. And so I applied to the grant for the Society for Science um, for their advocate program. And the program, the goal of this is to really support students and teachers in conducting independent research and entering competitions. And it's primarily for underserved students. Yeah. Um, so that's part of the work that I'm doing this year and uh, just a lot of science research in the classroom. Awesome. And I bet that's, you know, it feels amazing to show that to kids who may not otherwise have the opportunity to explore um, some of these um, options here in the classroom. So tell me a little bit about, you know, how you use science to, you know, get the, the wheels turning in their brain. So I, I teach eighth grade. They're 13. They're excited about learning. They want to play with stuff. And they all come from a unique background and a unique set of experiences. And they can use those experiences to create solutions in the classroom. And that's really what I want them to do. So throughout the year, they do uh, their own research project. It could be an engineering design project. And they're working collaboratively with all these different minds, all these different voices to really come up with a creative solution. Awesome, awesome. OK, so tell me a little bit about what we have going on here. So one of the cool things about the Science Advocate Program is they provide us with a ton of equipment so that our students can get good data and do good good robust projects. Uh -huh. So this is an example of a student at my school. They have beehives at home and what they their beehives kept dying over the winter. So they wanted to figure out what's going on inside of the hive. Um, oh, with like live bees? And live bees. Oh, yeah, wow. They have about okay. like six or eight hives. So he designed, he used this probe. So this is a little pocket lab probe. It measures temper and, temperature and humidity. And he cut a little tiny hole in the back of the, the hive so that he could monitor it all winter instead of like opening up the hives because that would kill all the bees. So it was just a really creative solution. And the hive just kind of goes, or the probe goes into the back of this. Uh -huh. And then you get some real time data. And he would do it over an hour period wow. during the day to, to see the, the temperature um, changes and yeah. the humidity changes. That's awesome. So back in my day, we weren't able to take our work home with us. Like we had the little baby chicks <laughs> in the classroom. That was about it. So we would have to, you know, keep that contained to the classroom. So it's really awesome that they get to work on this at home and like you said, create those solutions. Yeah. Awesome stuff there. Now, you guys um, also got a pretty big grant to help out with the program. Tell me a little bit about that. So the grant um, provides professional development for teachers that are already doing science research with their students. So there was a conference I went to this um, in, in July, and I got to meet with all of these great educators from across the country and find out what they do best in their classroom and get resources and get online resources that we, I could use to help support my students. Um, it was just a really great opportunity. And then throughout the year, we meet in smaller clusters and continue to share our experiences and to support each other and support our students too. Yeah. And I really love this. This makes it fun. And that's an important part of, you know, making sure that they retain the information. Um, when they are learning in the classroom. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. So what are your hopes for this new school year and, you know, the expansion of this program? I'm most excited to see what the students come up with this year. Um, they have, they're 13, they have some wild ideas and some wild solutions, but that's what's exciting and that's what gets them engaged and energized in their learning. Um, so I'm hoping that with the tools that they're given and the resources that are provided by the Science Advocate Program, that they'll really get to take their big ideas and put them into practice and find some solutions and get confident about their abilities and yeah. communicate that with everybody. Awesome. Okay, now I've got one more question before you, uh, before we head out. What's one of the most interesting or unique projects that a student has come up with? One of the most unique projects, I think, was a group of students last year that really wanted to do something very, um, 
meaningful. So they wanted to look at, they wanted to do cancer research, which was like, we only have four months, that's not gonna happen. But they scaled it down and they got these little planaria worms and um, they regenerate very, very quickly. So they kind of like cut these worms in half and put them under different conditions using ultrasound technology to kind of see how to stimulate those cells so that they will regenerate faster. And they, they, they had a really good time, they enjoyed it, and they were excited about yeah. it and they learned a lot. So. That's awesome for them to only be in eighth grade and already <laughs> thinking of something like that and yeah. you know, being able to conduct that kind of research. Really great work there. All right, so thank you so much for joining us this morning, Andrea, and we hope you have a great awesome. start to the school year. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, now let's go ahead and uh, check back in with Tim in the studio.